Okay, going to continue with uh, games from Team 45-45 League. Uh, these are the playoffs. I'll post some links here in a little bit. And, uh, and we want to analyze these games, give you an idea how to analyze the game, recognize mistakes, learn to take our time, all kinds of juicy things. Okay, we have the Burke defense, most likely. Okay, now the sharpest continuation is is f4 the Austrian attack. Karpov preferred knight f3 and bishop e2. Let's see what happens. Okay, so he does play f4. Now the main line is knight f3. And black should castle here. Okay, so c5 is a little early. Um, <clears throat> I don't think this is any good for... Well, it can, it can be. Uh, one of the ideas is... See, let, let, me, let me retrograde a moment. I'm trying to remember. I used to study this. I studied this deeply back in the 70s. I was a perk player. Now, when white plays bishop e2, c5 is a good move. But when white plays bishop d3, c5 is not a good move. So, uh, <clears throat> one of the ideas on bishop e2, c5 is if you take, this queen comes out here, you take again, and all of a sudden, all this stuff happens down here, and I think black can even give give this rook up. Let me see. I'm trying to remember this line. Um, well, let's see. Check. Check. Now, you might have to take with the king. I don't know. Let's see. There's a check here that gets out of it. Maybe, maybe I have this line wrong. Maybe, maybe the c5 right away is okay. Uh, but you know this 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 is the main line, okay? This this is this is White's best move. It's far more uh, it's far superior to Bishop E2, but I don't remember the analysis, okay? So here, if you take, uh, let's see. I guess he's still going to play Queen H A5. Now let's see. Let's go back to this idea. Now white's under a, a lot of a lot of pressure down here, so let's see. Bishop d2. Uh, let's take. I don't know, let's see. That brings the queen up. Let's take this. Check. Call a check. Check. And I see White's in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, you can't block with the Queen because Queen takes. So you have pretty much have to play King F2. And let's see, I'm sure they've analyzed this to death. Uh, if anything, Black can check and pick up this pawn. Okay. Um, Black could even play knight c6. Just getting another piece in the game. Uh, Black could play bishop g4. And, uh, you know, just, just relying on development. And I will leave this pawn here. Uh, let's see. I just want to develop here. You know, white's, white's struggling. He's trying to get his king to safety. You know, just some ideas. Anyway, let's see what happens. Check. He gives this check. Now in the Benoni, we come back with this knight. Let's see what happens here. Okay, there. Now this is protected. Probably a good move for white. We just beat a castle. Check. Okay, this develops one of black's pieces. Don't develop your opponent's pieces for him. Okay, so I'm not too sure about this move. Uh, locking up the center. He just opens up the, this diagonal. I guess it's going to open up anyway. Let's see. Uh, but let's, you know, we treat this like a Sicilian. Let's see. We castle. Now, queen b6 might be a nuisance. See, we don't have bishop e3. We don't have knight b3. And black is threatening to, you know, 
gobble this pawn and take this with check. So yeah, it's a it's a tricky opening. Um, I don't remember all the analysis to it, but but uh, you guys can look it up. That's what you know. I, I, if I recite every line in the in the book, uh, you know, we'll spend one day <laughs> broadcasting one game. So you, know, you want to learn the openings, you gotta you gotta do the put in the time and do the research. Okay, so he pushes. Uh, decent square for uh, black if he can find a way to get there. Unfortunately, he can't get a knight there too easily. Those squares are covered. So this, this d5 should be okay. And well, probably castle. You know, now the queen b6 doesn't have the, the sting. Uh, uh, it's not with a check or it's not pitting a knight. Let's see what white does. Or, well, it's black's move. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is naturally he wants a queen side space. Uh, he's willing to give up a pawn. Well, he's not giving up a pawn. He'll take this one. Okay. So white needs to uh, get a little protection on e2. I mean, on e4, I was thinking queen e2 or rook e1. Okay, queen e2. Now, safe is, safe is a6 and just await developments. And maybe we can bring this knight into c4 later. Okay, well, this, this kind of drives the knight where he wants to go. He wants to head towards the king side, start the attack. Now, here we don't have time for bishop e3 or knight e3 because this pawn hangs. So, what should, what should white do? Well, I guess a good move is knight f2, okay? And we hold that knight in reserve. There, there he is, knight f2. Okay, so a little concerned about the times. Um, if, if they continue to go fast, anything can happen. So black just following a natural plan here. Grab as much space as he can on the queen side. Uh, what, what, what out here? Okay, I don't know. Let's see. I guess the bishop's going to pin you, but I mean, I pin you, attack you. <laughs> This this just seems a little more natural. Actually, you know, we don't have well we have to cover our queen. See when we play no no we don't. The knight's protecting us. Okay, so bishop e three, knight c five. Uh, let's see. How long was that hanging? No, we can't we can't do it. Okay, never mind. Okay. Now here I, I don't think this is the right approach by white. Uh, this just enables black to open up some lines on the queen side quicker. Why not just sit and wait? You know, let's let's uh, let's develop this bishop. You know, pin this pawn. You know, if he plays here, now let's maybe heck with the queen side. Let's put everything on the king side. You know, now if he goes here, we just lock it up. Okay. If he goes here, we take it. So he has to. Prepare it. Let's say he does this. Now let's focus on the king side. Okay, let's start our attack. And he still can't do this. So say he goes here. Well, we're going to tickle that knight. He might go back. Now there's some pressure down here, but uh, so what? Let's just lock things up. You know, black has the A file, but what's he going to do with it? You know? Now White's picking up some attacking chances over here on the king side. He's got everything conglomerated around around there. You know, these are just ideas. You know, we, we look at ways we can put our pieces, and then we start looking. Once we got them over to the king side, we start looking for other ways. So anyway, let's see what happens. Well, Black misses Black misses his chance to lock or open things up. White might just very well play here. And uh, the queen side's going to be locked up. Uh, let's see. Black's only chance is this, maybe. Now, try to target this pawn. Let's see. The queen's got to get to d7. The queen and knight have to change spots. Uh, it's going to take three moves. 
So White doesn't have to take care. Let's see what he did. I don't know. I guess he's trying to support E5, but he's taking him off the F file. Okay, so, you know, the game basically seems even to me. Uh, here, Black is hoping that White takes, because why else would he put his rooks on the e A file? And now this is a good move, because this says if you want to take on Passant, uh, your rooks are on the wrong file. So now, the issue is, can White lock up the queen side? once and for all, say with a4. Well, black would have to pretty much have to play b3 then. But look, look at white's clock. You know, I mean, you know, he's used his increment plus another minute, minute and eight seconds. I mean, this is, this is too fast. You gotta slow down. Okay, comes white's break. Now, here's the reason why I think this rook belonged on, st stayed on the F file. Now the F file is opened. But, um, I don't know, does black... Can black just take this pawn? Or play knight here? I don't know, let's see what he does. I mean, what, what's wrong with taking this pawn? What am I missing? Uh, let's see, knight takes can steal this. Uh, target down here. Queen is loose. Uh, pass pawn. Threats on b4. Uh, let's see. Queen takes. You know, we got, we have some problems here. Let's see. Takes. How do we guard that? Uh, hate to play bishop f8. Oh, wait a minute. This is hang how long has this been hanging? Okay, so I can't really take the pawn. So White's getting a little bit of space here on the king side. Now he's setting up discoveries. Although that's not protected. Now this gets rid of a lot of White's nonsense of e6 push, but this pawn can be passed. And he does. So now it's an interesting struggle here. Um, now the White Bishop isn't all that effective uh, in this position, it, they're sitting there defending. I mean, the e5 is is uh, like what four times covered. Black's only attacking at once, but uh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, black can blockade the pawn with knight d7. Uh, that knight on e8 is just out of the game. Uh, we can try to get it to g7 at some point. Try to move it into f5. You know, White's definitely got a space advantage here. Okay, so now Black gets the A file. And Black is taking his time. So now we have a potential weakness here. White might be trying to pile up on it. It's also, I mean, look at Nimitz talks of overprotection. Look how, look how E5 is overprotected. So the idea of that is that some of these pieces can now sh shift elsewhere and he'll still have e5 under wraps. Okay, so what's going on now? Thank you. That's the move I was thinking about. Blockade! And now he's trying this deployment, trying to find a way to get the, the knight in the game. Uh, you know, at some point, maybe Black could try f6. It'll weaken his e6 square, but he might be able to uh, trade a circle and trade all these four pawns off. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that kind of puts a damper on pushing f6 at some point. We would drop this. 
Now, a positional move for white might be this. Uh, you know, black has this A file. He hasn't been doing anything on it yet. Let's see if he plays G4 here. Yeah, he did. Okay. So, if black plays H5, white's just going to play H3. There'll be a trade on G4, and the H file opened up. And that could be trouble for black. Uh, so, black needs a plan here. Uh, to activate some of those pieces. They're kind of bottled up. Uh, F7 looks a little vulnerable, too. Uh, you know, that bishop moves, and there's pressure on it. Uh, you know, knight, B, knight B6... At some point, needs to be played. I think to to get some lateral protection on f7. Let's see what black does. Okay, the drawback with this is that it just weakens that pawn structure. Uh, it does drive the knight out, but I mean, white might even have a sacrifice on f7 or e6. Uh, you know, it might not be a bad idea to do that. Knight takes f7. King takes f7, bishop takes h6, check, and suddenly the, the black king is looking a little uh, naked. Let's see what he does. He didn't. Uh, check. Okay, you got two pawns for the piece, and you have some open lines. Okay, uh, what else can we do with this? Uh, queen f2. Now notice how e5 is suddenly only protected once. So here, here's the idea. We want to we want to check down here. I don't know if that's enough though. The king just hides in the corner. Uh, then maybe we bring the knight over and try to come down here. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, suppose black stops the check. Okay, um, well, let's just put the knight here. You know, we're threatening to get, uh, to get, an, well, we're not really on e6. We, we'd have to eliminate g7 first. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Very tricky position. Let's see. Hmm. Murphy back. She asked, how can you play me? Okay. If you scroll down below the board, it says donate. If you find value in my instruction and would like to have a game with me, please donate what you consider a fair amount. Thanks. Or there are other options. Uh, I'll post my website here. All kinds of you know, my YouTube channel, all kinds of stuff. Okay, I gotta go back to analyzing this game. I'm making a video of it. Okay, there's your answers, Murphy. How to play me? <laughs> so, I mean, this is just an idea. We you know we try to analyze and look at possibilities, and at the same time, we want to be able to uh, foresee these things coming, uh, prevent a tactic before it. You know, I, oh man, I didn't see that coming. Well, you know. If you've seen it coming and the disaster struck, uh, or I mean, you saw it coming and prevented disaster, you'd be in good shape. Now, there's nothing wrong with this move that uh, that he plays. And we do gain a tempo on h6, but we have to watch out for all kinds of tricks. And uh, black is running low on time. Um, now we're there's mask threats down here. So this knight needs to move to protect f7. Ooh, okay, we're asking for trouble here. Let's see. Uh, okay, bishop takes, bishop takes, queen takes. Uh, king has one legal move here in the corner. 
Now, this knight on e4 is hanging, so we got to calculate this ahead. Okay. <clears throat> very tricky, very tricky stuff. So does white have enough of an attack? Uh, you know, keep in mind. You know, we want might want to try to bring rook up and over, but there is a there is a presence of a bishop on h6, so it wouldn't be a check, and we would be giving up this knight on e4 unless we can find a use for it. So let's see. Bishop takes. Bishop takes. Queen takes. King in the corner. Uh. We're going to put this knight. Uh, I guess we could. We can't. I guess we. We could take on c5. Uh, knight takes. No, we can't do that. Because on queen takes, the knight comes back and takes it. Let's see what he did, then we'll analyze it out. But you have to be able to see all this stuff visually in your mind when you're playing chess. Now, if you're playing correspondence chess, uh, okay, he took there directly. You, 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 you can move the pieces around. Okay, so let's let's look at my idea for the fun. Let's have some fun with this. Okay, first off, white's won a pawn. If if black if black just steps back and plays this, white's a pawn up. Okay, so the question is: is this an, is this sound or unsound? Are we getting two two pawns for it? Check. Now, as I was saying in the description, I said. Keep in mind, when the rook comes over here, there's a bishop in the way, and this knight is hanging. So, for instance, here, here, do we have enough to force a win here? And the answer, pro probably no. I mean, here check. comes a check. Okay, now this king is in trouble. And then this knight's going to come into play. Uh, although, let's see, there's a check here. Check. See, this bishop is pinned. King comes up. You know, I, I don't. I don't think White has enough here. He's uh, he's given up two pieces for some pawns, and you know, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is here. Ugh. I hang stuff all the time. You don't want to play me, guy. Or maybe you do want to play me when I hang stuff like this. Okay. So let's see. We can't do the check. We need some defense here. Uh, hey, maybe this is sound. And I have to sneeze. Okay. Mm. Very, very fascinating position. You know. Uh, let's 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 think about this one for a moment. Black is threatened with mate and one. So he needs some protection on the uh now one way let's let's try a lateral defense. Okay. No, it doesn't work. Check. It, we're covered against queen takes, but we're not covered Checkmate. against rook takes. Okay. So clearly Black can't grab this knight, it looks like. So, black to play, how does he defend this? Well, he's, 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 he needs that lateral defense again. Uh, let's try this. Okay, that, that covers this pawn. Uh, offers a queen trade. Well, actually, win a rook, right? Uh, let's see. We don't have time for a rook here as we did before. Uh, the knight can't really go anywhere. Useful. You know, knight g5. Probably just. I don't know. Let's see. Let's try this move. It's got some points to it. The first point is if here we do this. Check. Okay, see, that's check. And now we. Remember, we had a similar line. Checkmate. There's the checkmate. Okay. So, check. Yeah, if we come back here, we just pick that up and check. play the bishop too. So knight g5 might uh, spoil the apple cart. But again, you know, black black has time for this. 
check. Now he can bring up his king to attack the knight and protect the bishop. Uh, what's happening here? Uh, the knight's under attack, so let's take it. And let's take this. Oh, wait, 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 look at that. Look what I found. We take that. Now that's interesting. Now white's two pawns ahead. So, I don't know, did, did this prove... Uh, let's see. So, let's come back. Okay, so bishop takes, takes, check. This check. is forced. Now rook f3. Knight f8. Okay, what was I playing? I was playing knight g5. Now we agreed that this was no good. Uh, so let's see. What if black doesn't trade queens? Okay, you know, we want to trade queens when, when our king is in danger like this, but what if you don't trade queens? See, the problem is the king became overloaded. Queen takes, knight takes, check, king to g7. The king is guarding both the bishop on f8, or on h6, and the knight on f8. So, uh, we played knight g5. Do we have a threat with that? Uh, oh, here's an interesting move. What about this? Nah, the queen can come back and take it. But let's see. This is interesting. What did Black get for the queen? Uh, he's gonna. He can get this, but he's gonna drop this. Now he doesn't have enough for the queen. Okay. As we struggle to find a defense now, you know the grandmaster can analyze something like this out uh, 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 precisely. Uh, they will see. Uh, uh, they'll see all the lines, and if there's a refutation, ideally they will find it. So, you know, here here I'm still struggling to, to determine if black can hold this. And right now it looks like, so far it's looking like black can't hold this. Uh, I'm trying to refute it. If I can't refute it, that means I've proven a win for white. Um, but white doesn't really have a threat here. What if... What if black plays here? That gets a little more defense over here. Okay, now this is still an issue. You know, like if white continues with this. Uh, let's see. Let's, oh, maybe we have a funny smothered mate in here. Let's see. No, we don't. I was trying to find a smothered mate where uh, I don't, don't have one. Let's see. So rook a3 might give black some fits here. So now we take the queen, but he takes this with check. Check. Gotta come. Do we have to come here? Not necessarily. Now he takes. We take with the rook. And black has succeeded in winning a piece. How many pawns does white have for it? He has two. So maybe I maybe I found a defense for black with uh hey, you know this is how you get better chess you analyze uh, you're you're trying to you know we're looking for a combination and maybe one doesn't exist so here's the key though I mean just just to show something white we know white took one took this pawn right but you see here's here's what here's what's wrong with white's game okay. I mean, he's a great player and everything. He's got all respect. He has a very respectable rating. But my point is that his clock is only going down 24 seconds. So he spent that plus his increment, 69 seconds. There is absolutely no way that White could have, White could have calculated all this out. Everything that I looked at, there's no way he saw any of that. Well, maybe a little bit of it. 
And the point the point is, if, if you move fast and you, you make this habit, you're either going to A, miss a win, B, somebody that's going to take their time and find the win against you, or C, uh, I forgot what C was. <laughs> You're gonna miss. Oh, you're gonna miss the win. Someone's gonna find the win against you, or well, I guess maybe maybe A was maybe A covered both of them. You know where you miss the win. You know you you know if you miss a win, it may not come back. That's what happens a lot in chess. You miss a you you miss your chance and it's gone. And what do you do? Your opponent sees it and covers it. So. You know, maybe you know, maybe maybe that I've proved that. Check. But then you know that's based on White's rook f3. Well, so I was looking at uh, this move, right? No, that's not what I was looking at. What was it? No, I was looking. No, no, I was looking at rook f3, right? Okay. Then I was coming back here, and then I was playing this, and we discovered that. Let's see. Queen takes isn't enough because the king Check. becomes overworked. Uh, but I guess. Oh wait, we have one. We have one issue that I didn't notice. Okay, we're going to take this, and we're going to take this, and black wins. So, but my point is, you know, what in sixty nine seconds? Uh, why couldn't have seen all this? So, you, know, you got to take your time. I mean, th this looks like a great move, but this we have to look at this. What if it won? And and then you, and then after the game, you find out that uh, that it did win. I mean, you're going to feel horrible that you you know you didn't play the win. You know that's why you know that's why time is important. That's one these this these time the combinations are one of the reasons why forty five forty five is too fast. You know, standard, you know, feed a time control, 40 moves in 90 minutes, 30 second increment, bonus 30 minutes after 40 moves, and you go from there. The old days, 40 moves in two hours, 20 moves in an hour thereafter. Okay. So white's bagged upon. And now the discovery down here isn't isn't uh, vi that valuable anymore. Why? Because black has lateral protection. He pins the knight, breaks the pin. Okay, this knight can do discoveries. Um, it'll, it'll hit the rook, so we could go to d3 and work on the pawn. Uh, we could give up two pieces. Oh, wait, no, we have a good one here. Knight takes e6. And we're not giving up two for the rook. After pawn takes, we're getting the piece back. So black's in time pressure. He did take a couple minutes on this move, but I would expect white to find knight takes e6. And he did. And it looks like this was the end of the game. Uh, yeah, because when the little decimal shows up, that's the end of the game. So... Yeah, black black resigns. So did black have another defense here? Uh, oops, I'm trying to go back. Hit the wrong button. Uh, hmm. Apparently, this re this is just a threat. So you know, maybe we have we have to get some protection for that bishop. He just came from g7, but we can't go to c7 because the queen would take. But, you know, we're still running into discoveries. I mean, this is still going to go here. And, you know, the queen gets out of danger. Uh, you know, white, you know white, white can win that rook, too. I'll just simplify just simplify to a winning ending. I mean, you know, let's shove this pawn. I mean, black has black has no chance. So, 
Now the E6 move seemed to uh, just get black all cramped. Let's see. Maybe it was, maybe, whoops. Uh, maybe this move uh, asks to be played. The point is we're, we're placing, uh, we're restraining E5. See, E5 takes, 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 takes. Now there is a discovery. Now, uh, if this if this line is playable, uh, black is black's probably okay. I mean, black might be able to steal this. So you know, the problem with with that e five with e six was that as the game went, was the uh, was uh, the uh, the knights just got all all messed up. See. You know, this this knight just didn't have a future after that. So, you know, these are strong center pawns. There's no doubt about it. These 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 pawns are too strong. So, let's back things up a little bit more. Just trying to find a different plan that Black could have tried a little earlier. Uh, you know, we know we this is what White wants to do. That's what he does on a Benoni too. This is similar in some respects to a Benoni. Uh, let's see, Black push. What you know? I was talking about this, but what if you just slow play it? Okay, and. Let's see. Let's see. Let's 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 try this. I have, I have a new idea. Uh, let's see, when did that knight get to f two? Right there. Okay. Uh, let's hold the queen back a moment. And. Let's play here. You'll see my idea in a moment. If white chases it back, you know, black is going to try for this f5 push. Let white come over here. And white might even do do this. But we're just going to play f5. Now that weakens this e6 square. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe white can generate something down there, but... but um, You know, I think uh, I think black can hold this. Let's see. <coughs> Go threaten. I'll let him have this. Wait here. Got a new idea. Let's throw this check. Check. It's just just stuff to analyze. Okay, now. Well. I might drop this bishop. You know, I'll just stick with this. Oh wait, if we go here, we run into trouble. So we have to go here. Now, I don't know. You know, it's interesting. That maybe it's too that getting letting that knight go into e6 is is uh, too much. But right now they're threatening to win a piece. So and maybe we just maybe we decide to adopt a uh, a very slow and deliberate defense 
you know, the idea is transfer this knight here. Now we've cut off this bishop, but as it turned out, black never really used that bishop. And most of white's pieces are on the first rank. This also restrains e5. Anyway, just food for thought. Okay, I'm going to stop this recording.